Hello guys, this is Super Sedman and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, I upload videos about bodybuilding comparisons mainly, but I try to expand and cover different subjects about bodybuilding, so if you're a fan of the sport, subscribe to stay up to date. That being said, today's video is the first episode of a mini-series I'm starting on this channel. This mini-series is a challenge to defeat 2003 Ronnie Coleman, who in my opinion is the most dominant competitor who has ever entered a bodybuilding show. I believe that there are few people who would not agree with the assumption that Ronnie is the best, but there are many of you who actually consider 98 or 99 versions of Ronnie better than 03, and I'm not saying that it's not true. All I'm saying is that 03 is harder to be beaten because he's the most dominant as far as muscle is concerned. And in my opinion, it's more difficult for anyone else to defeat O3 version of Ronnie than any other version of his. For this series, we're gonna use all mandatory poses except for the quarter turns. We have 8 mandatory poses, so if someone gets at least 4 wins against Ronnie, we can say that he could have challenged or even beaten Ronnie Coleman at the 2003 Mr. Olympia. Our first contender in this first episode is 1995 Mr. Olympia winner Dorian Yates. I chose this version because in my opinion 1993 and 1995 versions of Dorian are the best ones and in 1995 he was a little bit bigger than in 1993 and against O3 Ronnie he needs all the mass he can get. We start with the front double bicep and I must say that except for the midsection Ronnie is better at everything else in this pose even at the lats area, where I was expecting Dorian to have the advantage. Dorian's left bicep tear is not the reason he loses at arms, Ron is just miles away regardless. I'm not even mentioning downstairs, which will be a major disadvantage for Dorian, all this comparison. Ronnie Coleman easy wins the front double bicep. Well, things change a little bit in the front lat spread. Dorian's lats are bigger at least seen from the front and there is something wrong with the way Ronnie holds this pose here. Dorian's execution is much more beautiful and elegant, he looks like he owns this pose and he's getting the point. Dorian Yates wins the front lat spread. It's tricky to judge side chest based on these pictures because the camera angles are very different, but this is what we have and we're gonna proceed. We can notice Ronnie's domination both upper body and downstairs and I'm gonna put it like this. In my opinion, Dorian Yates is better than Ronnie only with calves and forearms, two of the most underlooked body parts when it comes to judging bodybuilding physics. As for Ronnie, he beats Dorian with chest, upper arms, shoulders and legs, and he wins the side chest. This is where the fun begins, guys. First of all, the camera angle is similar for both these shots. It's taken from the left side in the audience, or at least from the point both of them were staying in the moment of the shot, so I try to scale it as it would look if they were together on the stage. And given the fact that Ronnie is on the far side, I scaled his image a bit smaller and that's why it doesn't look like he overwhelms Dorian with the size anymore, like in the front double bicep for example. I chose to do so because if I would have scaled Ronnie bigger, given the fact that the effect is that he is on the far side of the stage, he would have looked way bigger than Dorian than in reality. In my opinion, Dorian's back is just a little bit better, like 51% to 49%, but for this pose, not only the back itself is judged, as for all poses for that matter, but in particular, the back double bicep is the money shot in bodybuilding because you can judge many aspects of a bodybuilding physique just looking at this pose. You can see the arms, the shoulders, of course the back itself, the legs and the glutes. For many people it's upsetting that the glutes became so important, but I'm gonna tell you why they are so. Glute striations are a very good indication of conditioning in general as they are one of the last muscle groups that loses fat and water during the prep. So even though Dorian's back looks just a little bit better, he just loses at any other aspect, like especially arms, glutes and hamstrings, but also shoulders and from it looks like from these shots, maybe the calves too. So Ronnie Coleman wins the back double biceps in my opinion. The back lat spread may be even tougher to call than the back double. It's safe to say that these two are the best ever in this pose, 
maybe only Phil can challenge them here. Dorian has better lads than Ronnie and we can see here that his cars are better. And he also looks to be a little more conditioned, at least in the upper body. So I'm gonna put it like this. Dorian Yates has a small advantage on the upper body. A minimal advantage, I would say. Like it could go either way. But downstairs, Ronnie totally destroys Dorian. And because of the balance between upper body and lower body, I'm going to award Ronnie the back lat spread. Usually, the side triceps is an easy win for Dorian against probably anybody. Let alone Ronnie who was never known for having world class triceps. At least the lateral head of the triceps. But in this picture it looks like he has triations through his triceps, something we cannot see on Dorian. But in this shot is obvious. No more words to say than that Dorian Yates wins the side triceps. The next pose is the abs and thighs. It's true that Ronnie has way better legs, but his midsection doesn't look good. At least not as good as Dorian's, who also has a better V-taper. Dorian Yates wins the abs and thighs. Our last pose is the most muscular and things don't look good for Dorian, I must say. This is a weak pose for Dorian, where his weaknesses get exposed, especially by a guy like Ronnie. Dorian's weak arms and shoulders do him a lot of damage here and neither his chest is on Ronnie's level. It's useless to look at the legs also, so in conclusion, Ronnie Coleman is winning the most muscular. The final score is 5-3 for big king Ronnie Coleman and still undefeated. But this was a hell of a challenge put by Dorian Yates today. Thanks for watching guys and don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't done it yet. And also write in the comment section below who should be the next challenger for 03 Ronnie Coleman.